guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my everyday makeup basket for February now I don't have a full face of products right in front of me but these are products that are either new or that I shopped my stash and realized we're not getting enough love in my collection so I am going to rotate them into my everyday makeup drawer so let's try to go in order of how you would apply these to your face I do have two primer or primer e products here the first is a primer I got in a subscription box. This is the Wish Botanical Primer. Um, it doesn't actually feel like there's a whole lot in here. It feels like it's half empty. So I think I can get this done by the end of the month. Probably, like, honestly, if I use this for a week straight, I think I could probably use it up. So I do just want to go ahead and try this out and get it out of my collection. The next product I have is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I got the mini also inside of, I believe it was a Sephora Play. I've already tried this once or twice, and to be honest, I haven't really seen anything happen at all so I do want to rotate it into my collection and try it for a couple of weeks just to see if I really do see any sort of difference okay so after primer comes foundation I am trying to rotate in the infallible pro matte from L'Oreal I have the shades 101 and 102 I think I am now closer to 101 but I think if I use 102 and my lightening shade it could probably work as well these are both about half empty and I've had them in my collection for about a year or so so if I could I would like to go ahead and use these up hopefully by the end of the month or by you know mid-march Next for powder, I am rotating back in the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. This is an absolutely gorgeous powder and I am almost done with it. There's only a little bit left right there in the container. So I think if I were to use this for a month straight, I could go ahead and use it up. I don't like mixing this in with foundations as much now that it's um, so dry and my skin has been so dry, but I do love this to set my under eyes. So I will be using this along with one of my um, face palettes to set the under eye. So let's move from powder to contour and highlight. For contour and like matte highlighting shades, I am bringing back out my Kat Von D shade and light palette. I've had this for about a year now and it barely looks like I've touched it. I have used it a little bit. I tend to focus on these two shades right here along with that shade right there. It is a little dark on me right now, just in the middle of the winter, but if I use a light hand and blend it out, this does make a nice contour. This I can use as a bronzer also if I use a super light hand. Honestly, I'd never touched this one shade, so I probably should just depot that. This is the refillable one, so they are removable pans, so I probably should just depot that and give it to someone who's actually going to use it. And then this one I believe is a shade I could use when it gets closer to the summer and I am a little bit more tan. So I am just rotating this into my collection. I am hoping to hit pan on one of these two shades. I've been using it every day to set my under eyes, like I said before, along with a loose powder. But overall, I do want to just move this into my everyday drawer and get a little bit more use out of it because it was pretty expensive. And the packaging is gorgeous, of course. Alrighty, for highlight, I have the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. This is in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Now I've already hit dust, I've already hit dust. Now I've already hit pan on one of the shades right there that is Lightning Dust. Um, I am hoping to get a little bit more use out of Fire Crystal, which is the one I don't have pan on. It's a little bit more glittery, but I think there was a little bit of an overspray on it because once I got past like that kind of top layer, it's not as glittery, it's more, um, shimmery so you can see there isn't as much like obvious glitter the top layer was very glittery so I think now that I've passed that top layer I can get more use out of this one lightning crystal is actually like a perfect everyday highlight like it's subtle but it's beautiful so that's why I have pan right there so I am hoping to hit pan on a fire crystal and maybe use a little bit more of lightning dust Okay, so I do have two eyeshadow palettes. Before I get into that, I'm going to get into the mascara. This is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I picked this up in an Ulta haul not too long ago, and I had so many mascaras open that I didn't get a chance to actually get into this one yet. Uh, but that is the wand right there. I have heard a couple of other YouTubers talking about this mascara, so I am excited to try it out for myself. So I will be rotating this into my drawer. Now for eyeshadow palettes, of course I am staying with my um, Pan That palette, which is a Style Icon Lolita palette. I have that up on my vanity already. But these are two palettes that I also want to rotate into my everyday drawer. When it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I am a bit of a hoarder. I think eyeshadow is my absolute favorite part of makeup and I just love getting to shop my stash and pick like a new palette almost every day. But these are ones that I really want to focus on and give a little bit more love other than my Pan That palette. 
So the first one is one that I've had in my collection for a while now. It's the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Now you can see there isn't a whole lot of use in it. Basically I focused on this one which is Luscious. That's my favorite shade in the whole palette and bless her heart which is that green shade right here now i am feeling these colors for spring i mean i'm a little bit early but you know one can hope for spring <laughs> i really want to use these pinks right here in the center i want to get more use out of the bless her heart green shade and i want to see if i can hit pan on one of these like lighter kind of setting shades natasha denona so so i know i said that the Lila palette and the Sunset palette were my last purchases from Natasha Denona, but honestly, I'll show you in a later video, I actually made an entire palette made out of greens from MAC, um, but I saw this, I saved up my money and I went to Sephora and I saw this and could not say no. This is the Natasha Denona brown green palette, and just look at it. I've only dipped into a couple of shades so far, right around here. I've used the green shade right down here. It came with a separate, like, flap <laughs> with all the shade names on it. I'm going to try to hold on to this just so if I do a tutorial or anything, I can have the shade names. But honestly, I would probably just point, just point at the colors. <laughs> um, so I do want to get use out of these greens and blues right here in the center. And this lovely, like, I don't know if it's showing up in camera that well. It's like a terracotta. That's pretty. So I am hoping to get my money's worth out of this one. So I am rotating it onto the top of my vanity in my everyday eyeshadow palette section. Alrighty, so that is everything that I'm moving into my everyday makeup drawer for the month of February. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe before you head out. And I hope I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye!